Hey there everyone, Blaze and Rain here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a woman's perspective of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, by no means am I a professional Call of Duty player. I play it casually about once to twice a week, depending. I've played every single Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 3, my favorite being Black Ops 2. Now, in this video, I want to discuss what my perspective and thoughts and opinions on Call of Duty Modern Warfare are. So let me start with the positives and what I think should be in the next Call of Duty is the crossplay. The crossplay has been wonderful. Now the reason being for that is I like to play on PC. I have a 980 Ti, I have Ryzen 5, so I have a decent gaming machine and I really like to build computers so being able to play on a computer and get those extra graphics is just a wonderful thing to me. Now I understand that console is more obtainable for most people but for me I like the computer and not having cross don't really have the opportunity to be able to play the PC for too long on the older game. The second thing that I think is best is the mechanics overall. The feel of the game, other than when you're trying to get up on something, has been the best that I have felt in any game since I've been playing Modern Warfare 3. That's just my opinion. It's better for me to play overall when it comes to the mechanics. The third thing that I think is good is that there's no map packs and they're giving you free maps. Now granted, they did replace the $15 map packs with the battle pass. Now granted, you don't have to buy the battle pass. It's an option. So you could play the game and have extra content at no extra cost to you, but we know how we are and we always end up buying the extra stuff anyway, which is why Activision Infinity Ward put it in there. But it's nice to be able to get free maps without getting your little icon that you get up there that says, oh, no map pack. I think Black Ops 4 did that. I'm not certain, but I think that was the one that did that. That was always very irritating. Now, on to the negatives. There's quite an extensive list of negatives that has actually made it to where I now only play once or twice a week. I used to play almost every evening. Now, the first and foremost is the skill-based matchmaking that has ruined the game it would have been such a much better game if they wouldn't have had this in here and i'll show you an example on the screen how i had a very good game i'm not a fantastic player here i'm just your average casual player that can do decent i went on a rampage and i did really well and ever since then i've been playing and playing and for some reason the skill batch matchmaking has decided that I can't have any good games anymore. So people just want to play. They just want to have fun. They don't want any of this nonsense of being destroyed all the time. They want to just have good quality gameplay. It, it's destroyed Modern Warfare. And I hate to say that because at the beginning, I really liked playing the game and it's just gone downhill. Now, the second thing is the sp absolutely terrible spawns, especially on shipment and rust which these are things i know all of you have heard before this is just coming from my side here as a casual gamer that it's just outrageous i've had my first quad feed because i had enemies spawning in front of me that's not something i worked hard for it just happened because people were spawning in front of me and that's not the way it should be the third thing is the map there are not enough maps that are unique and different that play well in this call of duty they get old over and over and over again. Favorite map to play, which can't seem to get very often by itself, is Shoot House. And it's an enjoyable map to play, but they don't seem to want to make any more good maps. They'd rather just feed you old maps. The next thing is that you have no voting for maps. In every single Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 3, there has been voting for maps. And you can stay in the same lobby. If you had a good lobby or a good match with the particular people you're playing with, you could stay in that lobby and you can vote for the maps that you like. I miss that. That is an integral part of Call of Duty. They've taken that away and it, I'm not a fan of it. It's not fun like that. It's not as fun to be like, hey, I want this map. I mean, how many times have you played Nuketown in a row or Jungle in a row? You no, know? I mean, you don't get that option to be able to play those good maps. Now, the last final thing that I have that I miss the most is that they do seasons now instead of prestige. There was just something about having, being able to prestige that made the game more fun, more challenging. I haven't prestiged in every Call of Duty. There was always something special about being able to go and hit that prestige, prestige button and then resetting your stats and starting all over and maybe doing better the next time. Now you just have the seasons and you get reset every season and you max out. It, it's not as fun in my opinion. And I have another positive thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is that 
even though Infinity Ward has broken the game most of the time when it's happened, they have been very consistent with updates. 